This is Moolock Beach, just north of Newport. We drove to Newport to buy a rock tumbler. Drove by this beach and uh, I think we're gonna go look at all that gravel down there and see if we can find any good agates. Mm -hmm. fossils forming. Another one. These are like shells embedded in the rock turning into fossils. He's interested. That is totally cool. shells like crazy. Peggy just found this. It's virtually a whole shell that's been fossilized. Turn it over. Right. Another one Peggy found. Look, it's like a spiral shell. yesterday we decided to come back out here to Moolak Beach about an hour and a half from where we're staying but we wanted to look around see if we could find some more of those fossils Peggy's found two or three agates now Yeah. 
find a pretty good piece of sea glass. in there we watched a thing on YouTube this morning where a lady used the Dremel and diamond tips to clean all the rock off one of these very cool definitely not keeping this one because it's way too big but I just wanted to get it on video I suspect if I busted it open, there'd be even more. It's another spiral one. Well, we're going to call it a day out here. Stayed later than we planned on, actually. came out to Mulak Beach one more time we leave uh, it's Wednesday and we leave on Saturday anyway the tides way out Found a good one.
rocks, most of it's off the bottom of the ocean, sedimentary. There's some really soft, like mudstone or sandstone. few of these we got an awful lot of shell fossils and they are most of these are clams from 5 to 20 million years ago there's a real nice one kind of broken up on the other side but uh, you can see on this side it's a really good fossil and we got this it's got more than one embedded in it There's another one. There's just all kinds of them out there on that beach. Like this one. More clams. Some little ones. One, two, three, four. There's the impression of one right there. There's a nice little one mostly intact it's missing some pieces it's pretty worn too you can't really see a little bit of the ridges on it but uh, here's some of those snail shells there's a big one and we we may try grinding the stone around it away and uh, seeing if we can expose the fossil underneath and here's a much smaller one but you can kind of get an idea of the shape they are um, here's a fairly big piece of uh, matrix with a lot of those clam shells in it. Uh, might get some chisels and try knocking that off and seeing there's something more shell underneath there. Now this here looks a lot like oyster shell, but it's become well, that's almost like agate right there, agatized fossil. Got this cool purple color too. And then this here is really one of my favorite ones. Uh, just real nice clamshell here. If I grind this rock off flat right here, see and make a nice little paperweight or something. Some more broken pieces down here might be more inside of it I like this one a lot and it's pretty good on both sides and here's one it's kind of the same but it's just a piece of a shell nice color and then I got these kind of look like uh, scallop shells uh, this is a real nice one this looks like just some I think it's the same kind of shell see but I'm not sure uh, anyway you're supposed to be able to find leaf fossils and some bone fossils uh, 
mostly what we found obviously were shells but it's a really cool beach and they're just thick out there and uh, we will go back.